are affordable now if you are living in this city and you are still buying things for um expensive prices it can be one of these reasons one is that you don't know where to buy them from or two you don't have you don't even you don't know that there are places like this that exist oh, yeah. Everybody, welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is julia chiwe if you're not seeing my face for the first time it simply means you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again to the channel i'm excited today because today's topic is something that a lot of people have been asking me to do a video about people tend to buy things in uh, very expensive prices even though they live in lagos now a lot of times people call me because every I go to different markets i explore markets and people call me to say julius please do you have any contacts in this market julius please what where can i get this or that and which markets can i get it from now when it comes to lagos lagos has um the largest seaport in nigeria things are very very affordable now if you are living in this city and you are still buying things for um expensive prices it can be one of these reasons one is that you don't know where to buy them from or two you don't have you don't even you don't know that there are places like this that exist now if you want to know where to buy different things in lagos uh specific things in lagos if you want to know all the markets that lagos has that sell different things that they specialize in please keep watching this video now let's get right into the video so number one markets we're going to be talking about is the my 12 markets now if you have an o1 bear you have a party you have a big party you have a wedding you have an occasion a big event and you're looking to cut costs of course everybody wants to cut costs you want to buy things from the right source like you want to buy things from your vendor's vendor food stops you want to buy them in the most affordable price in lagos please go to my 12 markets now my 12 market is number one international market that sells all types of food stops in a cheapest price you can ever think about now you can get a basket of tomato depending on the season you can get a, a basket of tomato for as low as seven thousand naira in this market it is that cheap where other markets will be selling for about um fourteen thousand selling for about sixteen seventeen thousand this market will be selling for seven thousand and if other markets are selling for twenty thousand eighteen thousand this market will be selling for 10k it is very very affordable no matter the season my 12 market is your go-to when you want to either stock up your house or you have an event or you have a wedding or you just want to do any kind of party in lagos and you want to buy things in bunk please go to my 12 markets don't even go to any other markets go to my 12 market that is the best place you can get any form of food stuff different types of food stuff from in the cheapest form when i mean cheap i mean very very cheap i'm not even exaggerating very very cheap Another market we're going to be talking about is if you're far from the my 12 market you can go to the ilekwo now ilekwo is um before agbilegba after yanakmaja this place sells very cheap food stops if you have um, specific things you eat um you're on diet this market can sell you dry plantain dry cassava or you want to even jackpa you're looking for where to stock buy food stuff that you want to jackpa with Please go to the Ilepo market or you go to the myself market. This is where you're going to get pepper, tomato, your gari, your crayfish, your fish in a very affordable price. Now, another market um, that we're going to be talking about today is the Katakwa market. If you're looking to start up a thrift business, you want to start up a thrift business, you, you are already in the thrift business and you're looking for where to get direct suppliers in Lagos please go to katagwa market this market is also known as the supermarket now it is either called super or katagwa is the same market it is located at uh, yanakpaja as this of lagos now after yanakpaja you're going to pass ilekbo then you're going to see the supermarket the super <laughs> the way i said it's supermarket you're going to see the super see the super katagwa market katagwa market is just right um uh, before agulegba now if you're coming from agege you pass through agulegba but if you're coming from o oshodi you're going to pass through ikeja yanakpaja to get to 
the Katangwa market. Katangwa market sells all things thrift. You will never find anything new on this market. You're going to see things from your traveling bags to your footwears to your shoes to your bags to your clothes. Children's wear, children's clothes, newborn, babies, any kind of bill you want. Go to Katangwa market and they sell um, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays is their market days. So you can go there and buy those things, get your wholesaler's contact. If you want to start up the business, you go there, start up the business. If you're also into true business and your Katawa market is far from you, you can locate Yaba market. Yaba also sells thrift um, um, clothes, thrift shoes, and all of that. They have bills. They have days of bills as well. You can go to Yaba and make your inquiries for your trip west. Still in Yaba market, Yaba sells um, gold. So if you want to buy gold, you, you're looking for where to buy original quality gold for affordable price. Like you want to buy gold, the actual gram of gold for that price without being cheated or buying fake. Now go to Yaba market. Yaba sells gold, like any type of gold. If you want to start up gold business, please locate Yaba and buy your gold. Another market we're going to be talking about is the Oshodi market. This one is very interesting <laughs> because it's for my um, all one big girls, my brides to be, my Ashebi girls. If you want to buy your lace materials, your textile, is that what they call it? Yes. You want to buy your textile, your materials, your Akara, your lace, your Ashebi, your Ashoke, your Gele any type of material you want to buy in lagos number one place you should consider going to is the oshodi market oshodi has the most affordable ankara lace market in lagos no capping they have so many wholesalers so many wholesale shops a lot you have a lot to choose from you have variety to choose from you have so many wholesale shops to choose from so there's no way you will not buy anything you want to buy from that market that consigns clothes, Ankara, lace, Owenbeck clothes, Ashebi clothes in that market that will not be affordable. So anytime you have a party again, you have a burial, you have a wedding, you go to the Oshodi market and thank me. Another market you're going to be talking about in this video is the arena market um the same axis with oshodi is very very close to oshodi is even a walking distance from oshodi bridge to the market now a lot of people mistake the arena market to oshodi market some people call the arena market oshodi but there are different kinds of markets even though they are located in the same area now the arena unlike the oshodi oshodi sells textile oshodi sells um oshodi sells your ankara your lace your owambe materials while the arena sells your already made clothes in the arena market so if you want to buy already made clothes for affordable amounts for affordable prices not very instagram you want to get it from the right source in a very affordable price go to the arena market if you want to buy clothes if you want to shop for clothes go to the arena market you can also go to yaba market if you're buying thrifts arena is for already made new clothes why yaba is for thrift wears so if you want to buy um your thrift wears you can go to yaba market or you go to katawa market it's not only for wholesalers katawa market also sells for retailers if you want to just shop for yourself you can go to katawa market why if you want to you have a boutique you want to buy clothes for sale already make clothes for yourself please go to arena market another market where as a boutique owner you can go to is um the balogo market um you can go to mandalas at the balogo market this place um is a, this is a big plaza where you can buy all male accessories male shoes male clothes male shirts everything male anything like this place if you want to start up your your boutique business you can go to mandalas or you go to arena these are the two markets for boutique um sellers these are the two markets for um people that want to start boutique business so even if you're outside lagos and you want to start boutique business go to um balogun arena at oshodi oshodi is on the mainland and our market we're going to be talking about in this video today is the 
trade fair markets <laughs> things are very affordable ranging from your jewelries to your makeup guy you can see jewelries in um balogunu at cms you can see your jewelries you can see your makeup but have you been to trade fair that one <laughs> way affordable if you are a salon owner you want to buy your salon equipment ranging from your dryer your hand dryer your stressner your salon dryer your all your salon hair equipment down to your pin for your hair go to that market go to trade fair market and you want to maybe you just started if you are a salon owner you just open the salon and you don't know where to equip your shop buy things to equip your shop ranging from your makeup to your um jewelries jewelries are very affordable there if you want to start up a jewelry business go to to trade fair market this is where you're going to get those things for a way affordable price if you're a makeup artist and you're looking for where to buy your makeup in the most affordable price in lagos if you're living outside lagos or you're inside lagos or you're planning to come into lagos to buy whatever you want to buy that consigns makeup please go to the trade fair market if you want to buy things like your ring lights things your salon equipment your barbing shop equipment everything ranging from your shampoo to your conditioner to your stressner i tell you like from experience go to trade fair market this is where you're going to get those things like if you're buying a stressner in balogu markets for seven thousand naira, you are going to be getting it at trade fair for four thousand five hundred naira. if you are going to be buying your ring lights for fifty thousand naira you'll be getting it for forty thousand naira in that market now this let me use a more simpler example if you buy a jewelry from balogu market for three thousand five hundred naira you're going to be getting it at the trade fair market for one thousand five hundred naira that is more than half of the price so you see it's actually what's going to the trade fair is on the mainland is close to first tag I think it's after first tag um i don't really know how to describe it well it's very 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 easy to go from oshodi just take you take a bus going to my two and ask for directions to this market it's very 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 affordable another market we're going to be talking about is the alaba international market now if you just moved into lagos and you want to buy your household equipment you want to buy your electronics you want to buy um yes you want to buy your electronics Please go to Alaba International Market. This is where they ship directly. Like they, they dump it at Alaba Market. Whatever, all these electronics comes first to Alaba Market before it goes to any other place in Lagos. So Alaba Market will give you your TV for affordable prices. TV you're going to be buying for 200,000 naira anywhere else. You can buy it for as low as 120,000 in Alaba Market. Yes. Your ACs, your TV, your washing machine you all your household equipment go to alaba international market and our market a bonus tip another market we're going to be talking about the bonus tip is ladipo now this is for mechanics of course you should know your way around if you're a mechanic already but if you're a new mechanic in lagos and you don't know where to buy your mechanic your your spare parts go to ladipo go to ladipo okay and if you also want to buy things that they just brought into nigeria like things like your used um household items like your blender and all of that you can also go to ladipo ladipo will sell these things to you okay another market we're going to be talking about is the udumata udumata is where you can get <laughs> guy if you want to buy your provisions in this lagos for a giveaway price let me not even say affordable again because i think i've used a lot of affordable 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 in this video <laughs> now let me use giveaway price you want to start up a provision shop please go to idumota idumota sells oh my god that provision is very affordable idumota for provision and to buy your baby things you're pregnant or you're looking for where to buy baby things you do motor sells the cheapest babies babies that i know of in lagos anything you're going to be buying outside for ten thousand you're going to be buying this in this market for like seven thousand naira. okay 
another market we're going to be talking about is the computer village now if you want to buy any type of gadgets any type of gadgets please go to computer village but please while you are at it make sure that you are going to all those shops like the um branded shops from from um computer village don't go to all those cures don't buy from all those people that look like they are repairing phone they will just give you fufu so if you don't want to come back home with fufu and cry please go into all those um phone shops that you are seeing that they are all branded that is where you can get the most affordable gadgets in lagos if you want to buy from your computer to your phones to your accessories computer village is where you can buy those things okay so next time you want to buy anything in lagos please ask, go to the right place go to the source the real source go to where they bring it into like from the container that goes straight to that market first any market that brings in things goods directly to their market will sell very very cheap for you because the cost of transportation of taking it from that market to other markets vendors or traders will add the cost of that transportation and the logistics and the energy and the time and make it more pricey and make it more um, expensive for you so if you go to the right source where they are bringing it in as the horse where they bring it in into nigeria that market that is there like the first place that it lands before you start dispensing to other markets you're definitely going to be getting it for a ch way cheaper amount that is the essence of this video so if you have other markets that you've been to that is more affordable you can drop it in the comment section and if you have any more markets you want to talk about or have more questions if you want to suggest what i should film or talk about in my next future episodes uh my next video please drop it on the comment section and it will be well appreciated so we have come to the end of today's video if you find this video interesting or you learned one or two things please do not leave this video without giving a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please click on the subscription button please click on the subscription button please click on the subscription button to subscribe please click on the subscription button to subscribe to our channel and be part of this family thank you so much my 139 subscribers you're amazing i love you so much and i don't take you guys subscription your engagement your comments your likes for granted it means so much to me thank you so much for helping me build this channel so, see you in my next video